Have you been interested in making your own baby food but not sure where to start? Today I'm going to show you everything that I use to make and store my baby food. Guys, if this is your first time here at Anderson Ling, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. We do all sorts of mommy blogs, family, budgeting, everything like that. So if that interests you, don't forget to subscribe. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about what I use to make baby food. If you're wondering what kind of foods your baby can have, talk to your doctor. They know exactly which stage your baby is in and they can give you tips on what to feed them. I've been making baby food for a long time. The baby food game has changed a lot since Kyler 11 years ago to Zane now. I wanted to start this by saying you don't have to have any of these products to make your own baby food, but these are the things that I use to help cut the time and make life so much more simple when making my own baby food. There are a couple of ways that you can prepare food. You can boil it, you can steam it, you can bake it. Those are usually the three things that people normally do. My favorite way to make my baby's food is in my pressure cooker. This is my Kosori pressure cooker, and this is what I make all of Zane's baby food in. I used to make all of my baby food in the oven or on the stove, and it took forever. This is so nice because I can throw all of my vegetables in there and push start and they steam them. All the nutrients stay in and the water left over I can use to thin out my purees and all of those nutrients go right back into it. This is one of my favorite things that I have learned to use for making baby food. So once your fruits and vegetables or whatever you're making is steamed, your meats are cooked, then it's time to use your blender. A blender is one of those things that you really actually need when you're making baby food. So I use a Ninja food processor. The, one of the features that I love about this is the spout on top. It makes it very simple to go from blending all of your food together and making that puree to just pouring them into your containers to store your food. So you want to blend your food to a nice consistency for your baby. At first, it's a very smooth, like nothing in it consistency. As they get older, it can be a little bit chunkier. The next thing that you're going to need are storage containers. So there are two different ways that I store my baby food. One is in containers like these, which you can get at the Dollar Tree. You get 12 for a dollar. Or pouches. These pouches are very nice for on the go You've seen them in the stores, there's a reason that they sell a ton of them now. I like to do both because this helps your baby learn how to eat off of a spoon, but this way you can take it if you're going somewhere really fast. If you're using refillable pouches, you can use these even after your baby is out of the baby food stage for things like applesauce or other fruit, fruit, for fruit, for, for fruit purees. I use these actually for my other kids as well for their school lunches and so I will never stop using these. They are great. You might be wondering, well if you have pouches, how the heck do you fill them? My absolute favorite thing that I have learned this go around with baking my baby food is this. This is the Infantino Squeeze Press and it comes just like this out of the box. It does come with 20 of these non-reusable pouches. So you have to continue to buy pouches. If I was gonna buy pouches anyway, I figured I might as well buy ones that I could reuse. These simple modern pouches can be used with this Infantino press. If you're interested in how that works, I will be putting out a video on Friday that shows how to use these in this machine. And that's it guys, these are my favorite baby food making items that I have found this time around. If you guys have something that you love that I did not say, please comment down below and tell me. I'm always looking for new ideas. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you again next time. Bye.